For the first time since 1990, BYU beats a top 10 team at home, but they did it in double overtime. The defense stood tall, stopping the Bears on fourth and goal as BYU beats Baylor 26-20. That one right there, you know, that one felt really good um, for a lot of different reasons, but yeah, I, I don't really know how to describe it. I think it's been 32 years or so since we beat a, a top 10 team here at home. Um, so that alone, you know, that, that's history. We've shown that we can compete and we can win, and we'll bring that, you know, confidence and that energy into every game. Our guys just didn't give up. I mean, fundamentals is effort, too. So you look at the effort and the energy, the guys just don't quit. And we've been on the other side of some of these close losses and things like that, but it just seems like the magic happens at home. Well, that's a tough defense right there, you know. Well, I just had to put my foot in the ground because I saw a backer come over the top, and. Uh, we got in and, you know, we got it done. From last year's game, I made statements about we got to learn from that. We're going to see them again. And I wanted to see the improvement in our team and in our program from everybody. Uh, and, and I saw it. Everyone in the defense stepped up. Our defensive line compared to last year, wow, like we, we really, we looked like we were a step ahead the whole game. It's just a matter of having everybody healthy, everybody uh, dialed in and bought into the, the program. Overall, really proud of, of our defense and proud of Coach Tuyaki. The entire team, but uh, you know, defense kept us in there for, for a little bit when things were struggling. I think we made a point of emphasis to you know get physical. You know, we we, we feel like we came in this year with something to prove, especially in our run defense. And this was obviously going to be the biggest test up to this point. And I think we came in um, when we needed to and stopped the run, um, just stopped them all together. This game just came down to just you know one play that we were able to make, just sticking with it. And, and not giving up, and you know we uh, we believe in Jake, and we love him, and we support him, and we wouldn't be the program that we are right now without him. I don't have any doubt that Jake will, you know, come back and, and be himself. You know, um, everybody has those days, and uh, yeah, there's there's no bad talk on on Jake Oldjoy. He's the man. He's he's a leader on the team, and uh, we all got his back. So we always talk about our culture of love and learn, and uh, it's important that we. Uh, look at the mistakes that were made and things that we can improve on and, and um, you know, make sure that we perform better next week when we play Oregon. BYU is 2-0 to start the season, but they have another tough matchup next Saturday as they hit the road to Oregon. At Lavelle Edwards Stadium, Andrea Urban, Fox 13 Sports Page.